So we're at the uh, Painted Canyon Trail here in Teddy Roosevelt uh, National Park. So this is uh, the scenery out here. And we're taking a, just a, it's a quick hike, about one mile. So, uh, and then we're gonna head over to our campground tonight. Check you guys out later. Also known as the Badlands of North Dakota, Theodore Roosevelt National Park is full of wonderful geological features like buttes, hoodoos, cap rocks, cannonball concretions, plateaus, plains, and prairies. There are two units, a north and south unit, and three visitor centers, north, south, and Painted Canyon Visitor Center. Painted Canyon Visitor Center is a great stop near Medora on Route 94 east of the South Unit. There's a great overlook where we spotted buffaloes and you can take hikes down to the canyon below. The north and south units don't connect through the park. It's about an hour or so drive between the two units and it requires a drive outside the park. The north is less busy and it's quite beautiful once you get there. She didn't cross. <laughs> and I'm wearing hiking shoes. Now, should we take the road? Huh? The park was named after President Theodore Roosevelt, who had a ranch and hunted bison here. This is where he came to grieve and mourn the death of his wife and mother. Roosevelt wrote three books on the ranch lifestyle. His love of nature positively helped shape conservation policies for the natural resources in the U.S. The park started as the Theodore Roosevelt Demonstration Area in 1935, then became a wildlife refuge in 1946, and later a memorial park in 1947. It eventually became a national park in 1978.
Look at this sunset. Oh We're heading back to uh, Juniper Campground. Hey, buddy. Oh. The wilderness here with the majestic buffalo, feral horses, bighorn sheep, prairie dogs, and diverse landscape remind us of the wonder and beauty in the world. Good morning. Good morning. We're having breakfast. Where are we? Um, yeah, Teddy Roosevelt National Park. And Theodore we're, Roosevelt. Theodore. Yeah, he went by Teddy as well. And that's uh, we're at an overlook right now, so we're having breakfast out here. So we stayed at a. Which campground? Cottonwood or Juniper? Juniper. No, Juniper. Juniper campground here at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Uh, we also saw a herd of bison. We saw wild turkey. We saw what kind of mule deer? Uh, what else did we see? Anything else? Bison. Bison? Yeah, yeah we saw a lot of bison. What else? Then we saw elk. Elk? Where? Was in the water. Was in the water. In the binoculars. <laughs> With my binoculars. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's really nice out here. We're gonna go for a hike in a little bit. Check you guys out later. So we are walking to the uh, prairie dog land. Uh, it's about, I think, a mile from the trailhead.
The South Unit is near a small town with lots of attraction shops and restaurants. We detoured for a bit in the town, window shopped, and then continued on our way to the park. We made several stops at the overlooks and pullouts to take in the scenery and check out the buffalo, horses, and prairie dogs. So we're taking a hike on the north side or the south side of the park now. I hope it doesn't come crumbling down. Yeah, you made it look so easy. So we are here in Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This is the south side. After checking out both units of the park, we all agreed that we preferred the north unit. Overall, we are so glad we saw this park because it was unique from the other national parks we've been to. And yet, there were those same geological features and wildlife we loved from Bryce, Yosemite, Yellowstone, Devil's Tower, and Badlands. So we're being held up by a bison crossing here on the road at the park they're just walking up and down the street probably blocking some of the incoming traffic or whatever it's moving slowly so they're getting through 